night in the outside. This is what it looks like in the outside. I'm heading to Weight Watchers. I'll let you guys know what happens, but this is what it looks like in the outside. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It's Rita Lashley here, and I'm using a new camera. Hopefully, things are not a new camera app, so hopefully, things are not twisted or flipped around. I don't know if it's twisted or flipped around. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it is. It's not. It's not, right? When you're done filming, it won't be. Okay. Um, so I'm here with my haul. I know this app makes my hair look really orange. It's not orange. You'll see I posted, I'll post a picture. Um, I took a picture, a little video of me outside. So you'll see that before this video. Um, and then I took a picture of my outfit because it looks really, really cute. Um, I have a review to do of Pop Fit, um, clothing. I got two pairs of leggings and they're awesome. They are leggings with pockets. Um, so I have to do that review for you guys and you will absolutely love them because I love them. Um, and my outfit was so cute today so I have to show you that. Um, so I went to Weight Watchers today and I have a haul. I'll do the Weight Watchers first because my haul is pretty pretty awesome. I found some really great deals at Target so definitely head over to your Target. Uh, this week was, uh, pretty much mindless eating. Um, I was stayed quiet during the meeting because I was pretty upset. Um, I wouldn't say I busted my butt this week, um, but I did go to the gym once, um, I'm going back next week, I have a personal training session on Monday, I have Zumba Monday, um, and then I'm going to be going back Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, um, so all three weeks, uh, all three days, I mean, uh, so I only went once, but I have been eating really good, like I had a BLT, but I made it with a truffle instead of making it with bread. And I've been doing okay. I guess maybe I shouldn't have ordered. I didn't want to cook because I had had meal prepped yesterday. I meal prepped like bacon and uh, no sausage and um, eggs for my lunches like for four days straight. I meal prepped that. I meal prepped keto queso. Um, I made that. I meal prepped that. Um, so I meal prepped a lot of stuff la uh, yesterday. So when it came to actually making tacos, I didn't. I did not want to cook. So. I decided, well, let's order KFC. That's my downfall. I love KFC. Um, and on the app, when you order Grubhub, you cannot get it grilled. I don't know why. Sorry, guys. So I just got a regular sandwich and fries and stuff. So I guess that meta made the extra poundage on the scale. I don't know. They said they can do that with salt and stuff. So maybe that's true. Uh, but according to Weight Watchers, I had gained three pounds, which... I don't see how, and I was pretty upset, um, but now that I can reflect back on it, I mean, at first I was very angry and mad, and I wasn't going to let it, like, ruin my whole day, I'm not going to let it ruin my whole day, but I am upset, I am a little bit deterred, uh, but it's just a bump in the road, and things will get better, um, and it's not going to stop me from achieving my goals, so... Basically, mindful eating. Basically, which what I was talking about is um, this, like, couple of things here. And it was, like, one, set a nice table like, like you would for a guest and put away your phone and other electronics. Two, before you begin, take a second to notice the colors on your plate. Three, who is the slowest eater? Match their speed. Four, start your meal eating with your non-dominant hand. It will feel weird, but it will slow you down. Five, instead of cutting all your food at once, go bite by bite. Six, focus on great taste, then tune into the conversation, go back and forth. So they were talking about that um, and how we basically don't know what we're eating because we do mind mindless eating because we eat in front of the, 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 the TV. And we have dinner and stuff and we're on our phones and everything. And I do that all the time. Um, me and my fiance will watch. Right now we're watching The Flash on Netflix. Uh, and we'll watch that whereby we eat. And so we're kind of, um, I guess, trained to when we watch TV or watch a movie, we have to have a snack. Um, and the leader was talking about how when we were kids, we all would sit at the dining room table. We'd eat our dinner and then we'd have one snack. It was like one planned out snack and then that was it. Um, but now it's just, a, it's just mindful eating. You eat throughout the night, you, eat, you do this, you do that. Um, so we're gonna get kind of more grounded into that and maybe 
sit at the dining room table more and just enjoy our food more. Um, so I was a little sorry. I was listening more to uh, that meeting more than any of the other meetings. Can I actually turn this off? Hold on, guys. Um, sorry, guys. So I was actually listening more to that meeting than any other meetings because uh, I do a lot of mindful eating. And then I set a goal for the week. My goal was to go to one Zumba class and try spin. Um, I heard spin is difficult. Uh, for not difficult, but it does hurt for a woman. It hurts, you know, your your woman parts down there um, on the bike. So I might like it, I might not, we'll see. But I'm very excited to try Zumba, I cannot wait. I've done Zumba at my house, but never in like an actual like class setting. So hopefully I like it. And I am determined to beat that scale because I feel better, um, I'm making better choices, and my clothes fit differently. So I don't know why it's not reflecting on the scale, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, that was Weight Watchers. Um, haul time. Haul time. It's time for the haul. <laughs> this is, I should have like a little banner come up. Haul time. <laughs> um... Oh, and what I was reading, um, or have been reading, I have been reading Tunnel of Bones by V.E. Schwab, uh, Victoria Schwab, uh, that's the second book in the City of Ghosts trilogy, um, loving it. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, something you didn't see me haul last week, because I forgot to show you, I got this cute little pill case from, uh, Marshalls. Because your girl takes a lot of pills. And I just thought it was so cute to throw in my bag. When I have to go somewhere, this just pops in and out. So you can use different kind of pill cases. Which I think is awesome. Like if you don't want this pill case, you want like a cute one, you can put a cute one in there. Um, really cute. Five bucks. I think this was or six bucks. And I got it last week, but I forgot to show you guys. And it's really cute and convenient for traveling. So really love that. So... I was just, I was looking to uh, find glass, uh, like, prep containers because right now I have plastic and plastic is no good. Um, so I was looking for glass ones, but they were really expensive there. So I was just looking around different things at Marshalls because I always go, my main things I do is I get out of my Weight Watcher meeting, I go to Marshalls, just walk around, whatever. And then I go to McDonald's, have my burger with no bun, no ketchup, no nut, no know anything a diet pepsi because i don't like the water there have that and then i go to target and pick up whatever i have to pick up for the house and then i wait for the bus and i come home and i have a may have a starbucks strawberry aside sometimes today i did just because i was feeling down and low for myself so i had a strawberry aside didn't finish the whole thing and then i take the bus and i come home so that's like my little steps i do so i uh went to marshall's was looking around I went to the like area where like all the planner stuff is and I found this. It's called the Mighty Pouch Multi-Use Organizer by Ula. I think that's what it's called. It's a three compartment multi-use organizer, perfect for carrying art supplies and much more. It's 10 by seven and it was five bucks. Now when I saw this, the first thing I thought it was, oh wow, I can use this for a gym, for my gym bag. Because right now I have like a little makeup bag that holds all my gym stuff like and I, and I can show you what I carry in my gym bag too one day and show you my actual gym bag once it comes in the mail because um, I ordered it. Uh, it should be it Tuesday. Um, but I carry like deodorant, perfume, um, like wet wipes, different things like, like that. And my makeup bag was literally about to explode with stuff. So this is really awesome and I love it. You have a mesh part here, if you can see it. It's a mesh part. You have a huge mesh pocket, like huge. And it expands. Then you have this little pocket inside. If you can see it. And that expands. Then you have another huge, huge, huge compartment. So when they say mighty, they mean mighty. Because this thing can expand like no one's business. Like look how much this can expand. So this is going to be able to fit all of my stuff for five bucks. I wasn't going to get it and I was like, you know what, girl, get it. Because this can hold everything that you need in the kitchen sink. And days when you don't want to take your bag, you just want to take your essentials for the gym, you just take this. 
So this is five bucks, really, really cute, and it's called the Mighty Pouch. I got that for five bucks. So then I went to, uh, had lunch with my Weight Watcher friends, and then I went to Target. And at the Target Dollar Spot, or whatever it's called now, I was looking around, and I found a lot of cute little things. You girls are a sucker for socks, so I found a whole bunch of socks. I found these cute, I don't know if they have a name, do they have a name? Just adult, this is adult skull socks. So I got skull socks. Some of these are for me, some of these are for hubby. Uh, these ones are just called cozy socks. It says, let's get cozy. I bought these ones for me, but then he fell in love with them, so. They'll go to him. And then I got these ones, which are ghosty ghost socks. Which hopefully I can wear them, because normally I can't wear these long ones, so we'll see. And then I got these ones, because I hauled these ones last time for him, so I got these ones. And they're called potions. Really cute. For a buck. So for four bucks, you get some really cute socks. I love target socks. So then the last thing I got over there, sorry my eyes are um, I have makeup on, as you can see, it's probably all messed up, but I did my makeup really cute. Um, is a little pumpkin. It's so cute. Um, I got these last year. They're called mini pumpkins. They didn't have, they did not have many of these little pumpkins left. Last year I got a blue and gold one. This year I got a black and gold one. Very, very cute. Uh, the other ones they had were like tall ones like this. It looks like a squash. So I didn't want that. I wanted a cute little chubby fat pumpkin like me. Cute chubby fat pumpkin. <laughs> uh, so I got that one. Very cute. Now, on to the books. You, if you are a book nerd and you are excited about the books that are coming out um, in, oh, my phone is ringing. That's awesome. I will get that later. Um, but if you are excited about any of the books that are coming out or have come out in December or are going to come out in December, wow in september or are going to come out in september or are out in september or are out now you definitely need to go to target right now target's prices on these books are amazing phenomenal prices i've never seen this before at target i shop at target all the time for my my books they're beating amazon prices crazy okay i went there because I had 20 bucks for my budget that I was going to spend on a book. I was going to buy one book. Um, and the book was going to be like $14 from Amazon. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll get it at Target. And that book was Permanent Record. First of all, I love the cover. It has a very unique cover. I know this is on Book of the Month, but they do not have this cool cover, which I think makes the book so much better. Very cool. Let me just take the whole thing off. I have her first book, Emergency Contact, but I have not read it yet. But very, very cool. I've heard this is very a very good book about um, a kid in college and how he, pretty much how to deal with real life and debt. And he meets this girl who, she's a movie star and she doesn't have to worry about any money issues. And it's really good. So... This book was $14 and something cents on Amazon. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go there. I'll, I'll price match it. Awesome. So I get over there and I look and it's $10. $10 for a new, because this came out on, the I think, the fifth, hardcover. Ten bucks. So I was like, okay. So I was like, put that in my cart. And I'm like, well, I got another $10 because I had $20 in my budget to spend on a book. So I'm looking. And all of the releases that I want are $10. They had um, the Bone Soul, I think it was. I can't think of the name of it. I think it's the Bone. The Oh, I can't think of the name of it. The Bone Soul? I'll put a picture here. Um, that was $10. American Royals, that was $10. Uh, Loki, that was $10. Uh, Salt and Sorrow, that was $10. Um, oh, what else was $10? Look at, like, all the books that just came out on the 5th and 6th were $10. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, most of them were $10. So, 
I'm like, okay. So I picked up American Royals and I was reading it. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to like that book. And then I picked up this one because this one I was reading and I was actually really liking what I was reading about it. So I picked up Loki, Where Mischief Lies for 10 bucks. I was so excited. This is about Loki and even though Loki is a bad guy, I still love him. He's one of the few bad guys I actually like. Um, just because he's he, he has the bad guy exterior, but you, like interior, I guess. But inside, you know, he's really good. He That's just, not the only reason why I like him. he just, you just know that, like, he just, I don't know, he's just, I don't know. I just feel like he's a really good person. He just is misunderstood, I guess. Um, but basically, this follows him as a teenager. Um, and I've heard it was good. And Mackenzie Lee wrote uh, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I have not read that book, but, uh, and it says Deckled Edges. But yeah, 10 bucks, and, right there, 10 bucks. So $20 for these two books. Like, are you kidding me? Like, they're beating Amazon prices. So definitely check out your Target. I don't know if it's gonna be just a weekend thing, but run to Target because that is a good deal. Like, I want to go back if I have more money and buy all my new releases that, that I want. Because, what the heck. Um, so, yeah. So, those two books. Then, um, I was just... I had a little bit of money left over after I bought everything for the house. And I was looking. I was like, oh, I'm looking. I saw this book before. And then I saw this book on Facebook. So it was somebody was asking if it was a good book. I said, yeah, it's a really, really good book. Um, it's really like a messed up ending. Really, really good book. And that one is called Baby Teeth. Weird title. Interesting cover. And basically, it's about a mother and daughter who I, from what I read, from what I'm reading, um, the mother and the daughter... The mother wants to kill the daughter, and the daughter and the daughter wants to kill the mother. This is what it sounds like. It says, meet Hannah. Seven-year-old Hannah is a sweet but silent angel in the eyes of her adoring father, Alex. He is the only person who understands her. But her mother, Suzette, stands in her way. But she'll try and trick. Uh, yeah, but she'll try and trick she can think of to get rid of her idly for good. Meet Suzette. Suzette loves her daughter, but after years of expulsion and strained homeschooling, her precious, her her, 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 her uh, can't say it, her precarious, precarious, health and sanity are weakening day by day. She's also becoming increasingly frightened by Hannah's little games, while her husband Alex remains blind to the fa the failing family dynamics. Soon, Suzette starts to fear that maybe their supposedly innocent baby girl may have a truly sinister agenda. And like all these people um, blurbed it. Um, Kirk's review said tightly plotted, expertly choreographed. Um, New York Post said deviously creepy. Um, Lisa Scotland said unnerving and unputdownable. Baby teeth will get under your skin and keep you trapped in its chilling grip until the shocking conclusion so i cannot wait to read this probably in october maybe or before we'll see because it's pretty short and this was 16.99 uh target had it for 14 and i price matched this baby for seven dollars on amazon like 7.80 on amazon so that was my haul i got amazing books definitely check out target for the new releases for 10 bucks cannot beat that price i'm telling you i might have to go back if i have more money and go back and get the new releases because 10 bucks but yeah i'll be back tomorrow with a crazy announcement so make sure you stay tuned for saturday definitely tune in do not miss it uh check out my channel check out Lori book trials channel we are making a huge 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 announcement uh saturday i want to say mine will be up at around 12 o'clock i'm not sure what time hers will be up but make sure you definitely check our channels and subscribe to both of our channels. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a video. Um, and definitely be ready for that video tomorrow. It's going to be phenomenal, amazing. I cannot wait to announce it. 
all right guys like i would say keep going read on shop on and be kind and sweet to you each other and your body bye guys